Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCourt. Today's topic is, why do I have such a tough time holding on to a girlfriend? This is a question that I'm really excited to answer because I've talked to a lot of men in my coaching sessions and just generally when I'm out uh, meeting up with people. And this is something that comes up a fair bit about why they keep sort of, it's almost like they feel like they're serial dating. They're going from one to the next to the next. And they don't understand what's going on. Well, the fact that this was sent to me and asked is, it means that they're owning there's a problem. So that's always the first step to changing patterns in your life that aren't necessarily working. So what you want to do here is figure out what is it you're looking for in a woman? Is there something that you're repeating here constantly over and over again that keeps give, giving you those same results of it ending very quickly? You really want to pay attention to the type of women that you are attracted to the type that you're dating because if there is a, a similar situation in everybody that you've had in your life you've got to change this up big time like are you always attracted to sort of the bad girl the naughty girl the fun girl that is all over the map with what she wants and she doesn't want a relationship or could it be that you're the one that's afraid of having a committed relationship and so you sabotage it by dating people that you know aren't going to work out? Now, usually when this happens, it's a subconscious behavior, but there's also people who will actually say out loud, well, I'm not really looking for a relationship, but then they keep going out and dating and dating and dating. So you have to sit down and figure out what it is you want. Do you really want to be in a committed partnership that it could eventually lead into a marital situation, family situation? Maybe take some notes and put down what is important to you? What are you looking for? What type of woman are you attracted to? Write down a list and then look and see what is the priority here. If you've got like 50 things on there, your checklist could be just a little bit too big. And if that's the case, then you've got unrealistic expectations of what you're looking for. And this could be a problem because the women could figure this out and feel that they just don't reach the standard that you're looking for. You maybe have a high maintenance bit of an attitude and so when they're out with you, they don't feel like they measure up. This is a big one to pay attention to because we don't always know how we come across to other people. How do you come across to women? Are you fun? Are you playful? Are you intense, serious, cocky? Ask your friends if you're not really sure how you come across. Believe me, guys will be honest with you. They'll tell you exactly what they think. Find out what it is that you're putting out there that is making your relationships short-lived. Because you want to know, because you've, you've come in here, you've written to me about this. So let's get this thing figured out. What are you putting out there that is saying to women, I'm not here for a long time, or maybe I'm just not um, husband material? We've got to get to the bottom of what it is that you are addressing when you're on these dates with girls. Is the conversation reciprocated when you're on a date? Does she feel heard and validated that you know what she's saying and you understand what she's saying and you contribute to the conversation that you actually act interested in what she has to say. Because if you don't reply or don't respond to too much of what she's talking about, she could feel like she's boring you or that you're not interested, especially if you're kind of on the shy side. So if you are a shyer, more introverted type of person and you're dating women that are really out there and extroverted, you're going to have similar problems all the time. You're either going to have to change up the style of of dating or you're going to have to learn how to be a little bit more extroverted yourself because we want to be with somebody that we can have fun with first and foremost we don't want a lot of sarcastic intense conversations that really don't let us know any more about each other and this is the thing when you date you want to get to know more and more and more each time you want to slow down if you're talking sexually to her too quickly and you think that's what she wants to hear. It's not the case. Most women want to know that you appreciate them for who they are first. It's not just about getting them into bed. 
And if you're re relaying that to them very quickly, that will be what turns a lot of women off and runs in the opposite direction. Also, most women who date eventually want to be in a committed marital relationship. So if you're telling them that you're not ready for a commitment or you've got, you know, you want to uh, travel for two years coming up, things like that, that will push them away as well. So look at all those things I've talked about today. Sort of look and really pay attention to who you are as a person. What's your personality like? How do you come across? Figure that out. Write down these things, you know, in a list of, of what's important to you and change up maybe what you talk about on a date. Be careful. Again, you don't talk always about sex or, or, or jumping in too fast that you want them to meet the family and all these other things because that's another, another one that sometimes you get so excited about meeting somebody that's great that you start talking future really quickly. So slow down, take your time, get to know somebody. And eventually I think everything's just going to click for you. Sometimes we take, look at our time frame, how old we are, how much, you know, you, you give yourself a five year plan of when you want to be and it's coming to that time frame. And so you get anxious about it and then it comes across in your dates. So put out what you want and take away the things that are sort of becoming a repetitive problem. Ask your friends, ask your family, and see if they notice anything that can help you as well. Also, you can always hire a dating coach. They'll probably be able to figure it out pretty quickly with you as well. So thanks for writing Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new here and leave your comments below the video and please check out my blog at cybersue.com. I appreciate all my new people and I love hearing from all of you. Thanks so much. Bye.